What's up guys? Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have a 2013 KM Spider RT Limited. Bam, RT Limited. Got the chrome wheels. Got the spider stuff. So three wheels. Pearl white. Let's put a brand new back tire on it. It's going to say the trunk's open because that's how I have the tag sitting in the trunk, which is fine. This does have the uh, heated grips. Also has the uh, electronic changing uh, suspension. And this is the SE version, SE, SE5 version, which is the um, automatic. I've ridden a bunch of these. I've had, you know, almost brand new ones with a couple hundred miles on them. This one's got 16,000 miles. Looks brand new. And still feels great. Actually, a guy just, uh, a guy who just bought a 2014 one exactly like this. He just bought a 2014 from me a couple months ago. He came and test drove this for a buddy of his. And he actually likes the way this one downshifts better. Because the, the 2014 has the new motor in it. These things are great. They're a lot of fun. I want to I wanna have one in the winter time. I want to drive in the snow. That sounds like a lot of fun. These things handle well. Uh, you can try as hard as you want to get the three to two wheel it on a corner, but it's really hard to do just because they uh, they have like all these electronic stuff and it does stuff with the brakes and it just it, it's, it's a very stable. It's kind of like it's idiot proof or it's like race proof. It's a lot of fun though. And for a lot of people, this is the solution. This is not like, it's not a motorcycle. Don't think it is. It's not a crappy version of a motorcycle. It's not a wannabe motorcycle. It's a different thing. It serves a different purpose. And for, for a lot of people, it's just older people that want to do a uh, big touring. And they want that big room in the front. They want the big bags on the side. They want the big tour pack. And they, they want that stability. They don't want to think about... They don't want to worry about what's going to happen if uh, I drop my bike. If I lay it down. You know, it's very comfortable for the person on the back. It's got all the cool stuff, you know, radio and all that jazz. Well, let me make sure this one does have radio. Yeah, it does. It's got radio and all that jazz. and You don't have to worry about whether it's wet or whether you're driving over rocks or, or any of that stuff. It's just always... It's always going to be stable. Take it off road if you want to. So for a lot of people, this is a uh, this opened up new opportunities for them. You know, people who are like, "Nah, I'm not a motorcycle person," but they're like, "But that could be a lot of fun." And then they start doing trips and they start having a lot of fun and. Anything to get people out and enjoying the outside and traveling and having fun and getting together. Hey, how can you how can you fault it? This thing shifts flawless. Um, when they put the uh, when they put the new rear tire on there, they put new brakes on there too. Uh, this thing runs great. I got no complaints. These things these things age very well because you can't really drop it. I've tried. You just can't drop these things.
The only thing that kind of bumps me out about them is I wish you could turn the traction control off manually, but I don't. I can't figure it out. guys I don't know what else to say about the Can-Am the radios are nice it has a cool uh, it's got a cool features up here it's got the GPS which is nice all this stuff comes with the spider guys check out the uh, walk around video for this thing and um, this would be a great bike that if you wanted to uh, r fly in and ride the bike back or take the train or something like that this bike would be perfect for it don't make buying a motorcycle just a thing an event make it a no make buying a motorcycle an event make it something fun you know make it a story that's uh it makes life more fun all right guys this is sean signing out from srkcycles.com subscribe and uh, remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going? See you guys later.